How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a heist brewing up in this piece in the form of their Blurred is the Word. Yeah, this is a hazy India Pale Ale coming in a balmy 6.8%. This was canned four weeks ago. No, five weeks ago. A little over five weeks ago. Comes courtesy of my boy Oak Ridge. He dropped a box off. And you want to talk about service. MF and service. Dude not only dropped off a banger, one of these and two Russian River bottles, and by dropped them off, I don't even mean just to my house. Dude drove up, put them on my front porch in a cooler bag. He wins. He wins. Label-wise, i actually never been a big fan of the heist labels or something kind of, I don't know, grade school -y about the art design. Not gonna lie to you. They're kind of growing on me a little bit. A little bit. I'm not going to say I love them, but there's something about it. I dig it. Um, but their beer has always been not too shabby. Let's put it that way. Index finger. Infinitely wet glass. Like I just washed this thing 13 seconds ago. It's got that rich cool orange core to it. Looks all the part of a big old juicy hazy. Let's get a nose. Man, that's vibrant. That's vibrant. Like vibrant... Uh, orange juice just above like a uh, orange juice like not getting to orange julius or juicy um like a um, orangina kind of level but it, it's eking in that kind of direction there's this nice kind of i want to use the word minty but i think i'm going to change that kind of hoppiness to this it's a green but it's got this touch of mintiness to it it's very 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 tantalizing like it's it's like the way the oj comes off the way that kind of greenness comes off it's very bright and very vibrant it almost seems like when you taste it it's going to be an explosion of flavor as opposed to something that's big and ranky and danky or even something that's a little bit more kind of muted i feel like i'm gonna get an elevation on the taste but it smells really really pretty let's dive in cheers I mean, that's pretty much what you get. I'm not going to sit here and say it's like jumping out of the glass. It's definitely not less than what you're getting in the nose. So that 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 fruited portion of the show is all the OJ Arbol on us. It's definitely that full on sun pulp OJ with a dash of kind of tang in it. Just a sprinkle of tang in it, like an MSG for OJ kind of thing to bring the vibrancy and bring up that kind of orange juice. That green portion of the show probably gets a little ranky dank, but nothing too crazy. Probably more like a beaster weed as opposed to a super nuggy weed. There's a nice bittering component to it, too, though. So it's not kind of like like pulling punches when it comes to the bittering side of things. It's got a really nice mouthful. I'm not going to sit here and say this is like super soft, water nerdy, turbidy. Or not even turbid. I wouldn't even use that because I could use that in a negative sense. Right, super sultry, kind of creamy kind of IPA, but it wants to get there and it's getting close to it. It's really tasty, man. This is a really, really tasty IPA. 6.8% drinks in the appropriate ABV level, appropriate impact level for its ABV. There's even this kind of cool, like, minerality to the water. I feel like there's, like, a, it's like almost like an untreated or specifically treated kind of water to it that adds this kind of added component. It, it, not necessarily, like, goes level saltiness, but there's something to it. It's tasty, man. It's really good stuff. Man, every beer that I've had from Heist, more and more they get just that much more kind of just better. I mean, for the lack of a better term, that's probably the best way I could put it. They get better and better. All the errs are below us and come off really tasty. I mean, honestly, you know, uh, I'm going to have to, you know, again, ask how much this costs. I'm sure Darren has told me. Um, but if you're giving me this at a decent price point, then I'm sold on this. This is very... Is it like... Is it Julius level? Is it Treehouse level stuff? Uh, certain beers, but on their, on their best days, I think Treehouse has definitely got these guys beat. This is better than Trillium. Apparently, everything is right now. But, I mean, it's just giving me that soft, rich juiciness along with a nice purposeful bitterness and a really nice package that if you give me at a decent price point and relatively easy availability, obviously, if you get the beef from that area... It's good stuff. If you like good haze, you'll like this. That's pretty much what I'm trying to tell you. Is it one of the better hazies I've had as well? Yes. Mount Rushmore status eaten towards the top. Valued availability, no idea. Oak Ridge, please let me know what's wet and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like good haze, done and done.
there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Um, let me know if you've had this. Let me know what you thought. Uh, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little heist right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.